Hello Capricorn, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with. Of course, everything will not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Adval 53 Tarot, which is read for you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Wow, okay. I'm not too sure exactly who you're asking about here, Capricorn. Um, it seems like a lot. There's a lot of energy here. It's kind of like, um, it feels like you yourself may be opening up a can of worms. I'm not going to say that by you asking or kind of inquiring about them. Um, but it almost seems like the way you're kind of perceiving or looking at them or kind of just checking the, checking the situation out. They're showing me that this is someone either one, this is a family member, relative, or possibly to someone you are in a committed or possible marriage with. Um, there's a relationship there of some sort, but overall this is under the same roof or same living situation. Um, yes, in a sense, there is a lot of emotions there and it does seem and feel like things are stable and kind of secure. At the same time, it also kind of feels like they themselves aren't. So even though it kind of seems like there's this, in a sense, picture perfect situation, um, there's something going on within them that's, you know, it's kind of speaking differently. And there it is. That's what I, that's what I was kind of wondering. Maybe, maybe even they communicate differently. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's... Um, goodness. And that's what I was kind of wondering. That's what I was kind of wondering, Capricorn. They're showing me that there is, again, um, it feels like it could be a couple things. It could be family. It could be the person you're married to or committed to in a relationship with. But it also kind of feels like there could be connections here as well. Um, <clears throat> multiple, in a sense, multiple people or parties involved. They're showing me, though, let's kind of just kind of zone in on this. They're showing me that whatever this internal difficulty is to kind of contain themselves about, and it, it, I got to say it, it's not necessarily in a good way. Um, they are showing me that there is a connection between the two of you. At the same time, this connection in of itself is something that they truly don't want to make even or make right. And that's what I find very fascinating. This is an energy of there's something going on within them that they're trying to kind of like contain or keep bottled up in a sense. And they themselves are kind of refusing to go through some sort of change or possibly acceptance. I don't know what that's about, but it's almost like they don't want to make things right fully. They don't want to see everyone's side or perspective because they themselves are kind of like, I don't want to change. I don't want to have to change. I don't want to have to see that. I don't want to have to see your side. I don't want to have to see your perspective. Once again, the whole thing about the table, Capricorn. Once again, it's a whole thing about the table. Like, well, this is on the table. Well, that's off the table. It's like, because what? Because what? That's that's no way to that's no way to kind of conduct or handle yourself. To kind of like start shifting, moving things off the table. It's kind of like if that's your only move, who's playing a board game right now? They're they're trying to kind of like leverage and pull strings. Um, It's manipulation tactic. I'm pretty sure if you're married to them, hopefully they're not a child. Is it's an energy of this is everyone that watches hopefully is an adult over 18, and they're being responsible. Um, 
I don't exactly know what this is about. Then they're kind of showing me, it's kind of like, no, they have other plans. Um, it, it's almost like, um, because things are the way they are right now, currently in place, it's almost like now they're thinking about like financial security. And it's like, excuse me, I was like, what is that about? It's almost like they got themselves into something with you. And now they're kind of like, well, is there anything in a sense I can get out of this? Ooh, and there you are, Capricorn. There you are. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Is there some sort of financial opportunity? Let me be very specific and to the point. Is there some type of financial opportunity from this marriage or the commitment? They may not have liked that one. Um, this is fascinating. On the surface, they're trying to show me that they're very cool, calm, collected, and steady. Beneath the surface, though, there is an obsession taking place. And I don't exactly know what that's about. It's almost like they themselves are like trying to understand something. And it's like, um, I'm sure Capricorn, as well as I am right now at this point, trying to understand like, what's this resistance to that change that you're refusing to kind of take? But their, their priorities and focus is on something or possibly someone else. And it's like, mm -hmm. I don't want to change personally. So let me kind of just redirect my focus to something or someone else and kind of let's just say keep the attention and focus off me. Yeah, so even though even though they are real having geez, even though they are having some type of breakthrough here, they're kind of like, what to do, what to do, what to do. I emotionally don't know what I want. And things are ramping up here so fast that it's almost like, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. And it's like. Here we go. So because they're not too sure exactly what to think, even though the truth is right there, I'm trying to put them, I'm trying to piece this together, Capricorn, the nicest way I can. Even though they don't know what to think, even though the truth is right there, they're still trying to figure out some sort of wiggle room or some type of way around something. They know they have to make a decision regarding commitment and dedication. And I feel like it is between the two of you, but ultimately they themselves, um, Once again, that, that, that overall energy of manipulation is coming out. That overall energy of manipulation is coming out. And that's exactly what I was explaining beforehand about that financial opportunity. It's almost like they themselves, like I said, they don't want to be fair. They don't want to be neutral. They're, they're showing me that they want to be neutral over here when it suits them. But then all of a sudden it reverts over back to then um, it, it's very selective, very selective mindset and perspective. They don't want to see perspectives and sides. Yet at the same time over here, they're showing me that same energy that they did initially showed me about not wanting to change, not wanting to grow or evolve. Um, again, because they themselves aren't making that decision for themselves. Now they're becoming manipulative and they're kind of like saying, well, then fine, then I'm going to kind of cross my arms and not do anything. It's like it is what it is. And it's like. OK, then it is what it is. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone Capricorn, you could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, and that is all. Goodbye.